all doing today hope everyone is enjoying their weekend me and the girls are up bright and early this morning getting ready for dance I was up at 7 a.m. at you guys 7 a.m. that's the time I would usually get up if good morning Prinny if it was school morning and it would be hard to get up at that time Pretty am. Yeah, it would be hard to wake up at that time. This morning, I had no reason to be up before 8.15, even 8.30. No, 7 a.m., bam, wide awake. Why does that always happen when you don't have to be up? When I opened my blinds this morning, there was the most beautiful fog cloud over the area where we live, and it looks so, so pretty. I did film it, so I'm guessing when Chris edits, He'll put that in at the start, so you've probably already seen it and know what I'm talking about. Isla is also going to dance this morning. Her teacher will be away on Thursday when she usually has her dance class, so she said that she can join in the Saturday class instead. She won't be joining in Esme's class, it's the class that goes in after Esme. So we are going to be there for a whole hour and a half instead of just 45 minutes this morning. Then Chris finishes work, I think at two, but I do need to check that. And I'm not sure what else we're going to do with our day, but let's see. I did something today for the first time ever something I've never ever done before in the whole of my vlogging life I went out didn't take the camera and I desperately needed it so frustrating and now today's vlog is starting at 3 p.m. This morning I told you guys we were going dancing with the girls I didn't take the camera because I was fully expecting to go dancing and then coming straight back home we didn't. I was with Chris's mum and we ended, we ended up going to a couple of shops and then we went for some lunch and we've only just got back and the whole time I was thinking no I really need the camera to be vlogging this but yeah we just got back it's 3 p.m. Chris has finished work Pretty's in the back of the car two litters are here and we are now going out for some family adventure we're going to some rocks aren't we yeah Brimham rocks the weather is marvellous today, absolutely. Have you seen those clouds? Yeah, a bit of brilliant. We're driving over that way. Look, I've got my pezzies. That's not looking good, you know. Today's weather has been beautiful all day, clear blue skies. The second we decide to uh, head out. And these marvellous grey beasts decide to come over. They're actually going in our direction too. So this may be interesting. So instead of going up to Otley, Otley Shevin, Chris decided en route that we should actually come up to a place called Arms Cliff Crag, is that right? Yeah, that's it. Which is, what is it? It's a big massive rock, rock there in the middle of fields, greenery, beautiful and sheep, over there, beautiful scenery. I love places like this so much, it's like this, places like this and places like the seaside where my mind just feels completely fresh and I don't know, just nice, I like places like this, they make me happy and the scenery up here is so beautiful. I'm looking forward to going and climbing some rocks. Come out the puddles, girls! However, the girls were really wise and put Wellington boots on. I have my own boots on and it's looking extremely muddy right now.
this place is so super beautiful. That's where we wanted to go up on them rocks up there. However, there is no footpath up here. Now I haven't been down here since I was in my early 20s when I used to come up here with my friends and we used to have like fires on the top of there. And you know, do your usual thing at night time like play guitars, have fires and barbecues and stuff like that. I used to hang out up here quite a lot. But I've not physically been up here since then. And I didn't remember that there was no footpaths. There is literally no footpaths to this place. You have to walk across one of these fields. And when I tell you that they're boggy, they're literally like a river. Like there's no way in my shoes or in Sarah's Oaks we're gonna get across those fields at all. And Prinny will just drown instantly. <laughs> That's how boggy they are. So a country walk has turned into a little bit of a bust. We're not going up to the rocks. We've had a nice walk all the way down the road and round up the other side of the rocks and back again. So Prinny's had a little bit of a run, which has been nice. And it's really beautiful up here and it's quiet, it's fresh. I mean, look at that view. It is really, really pretty. <laughs> So as that last place was one big epic fail, we've come to another place in Otley and I think you might like this one. I can see a cat there. But I'm going to cat. Yes. Yay! Ayla! Oh! I need a quick pack! I need a quick pack! I need a pack! Yay! Yay! Alright guys, we're on this massive climbing frame that I'm definitely too big for but I'm going to try do this big slide Ever. whoa yeah, I'm going head first like it. okay Can I go? I'm going head first you can't go head first down this is very yeah. fast you have to go forward like Isla you ready Isla one two wait wait wait, wait. Right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna brave it. If I can fit in the tunnel. Oh my gosh, look at my head. Not sure if I'm gonna fit in this tunnel, guys. I might have to do this laying down. This is gonna be bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was fast. Pretty. Oh my mama. Are you excited? Pretty, come here. Are you excited? Come here. Come on. Are you excited? Pretty. I don't think dogs are supposed to go on the drawbridge. Give me the house. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really. I literally can't believe how quiet it is everywhere. I don't think we've really seen many other people at all around here. Usually this place is absolutely bustling with kids and parents and dog walkers. We've seen like two. We just met a couple of you guys though, which is pretty cool. You were on the park with your family, Mary and Amy. That was really cool. Hi guys, thanks for coming and saying hi. But yeah, we're just, uh, we're just racking up now really. We're just rocking back to the car. We're gonna take Prinny home. And we're gonna go for a treat. I'm not telling the girls that it's a secret. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go do now. We're gonna take it pretty home. But they already know. I already told them. Oh! Oh well, no treat, no secret. Oh, they already know. Oh, you already know. I, already I thought know. these already. No. I thought these already knew. Okay, it's top secret, right? My bad. I'm getting really like mixed wires here, guys. Okay, so these guys don't know. You guys know. Let's go. Dropped Prinny off, oh, had dinner, 
and now we're coming out for a cheeky Saturday night treat. Little Saturday night treat. And we are going to get some, I'm on the road, so that's why I'm not looking. We're going to get some donuts. Or I should say, Chris and the girls are getting donuts because I am so stuffed from dinner that I'm not going to get one. But I am going to get a decaf latte because I've not had one today. And don't think I had one yesterday either, actually. And crispy creme, crispy cream, do really nice lattes. Oh, I love this place. Oh, Esme, I think the things are working. As Esme walked past and I didn't think the machines were working, showing how the donuts were made. As last time we came here, I don't know if you watched the vlog or not, but the girls were mesmerized. And to be honest, so was I. Not working. They're not working. Man, we must have just missed it. Oh, donuts got splattered. Look how awesome Isla's donut is. Creations. I got a balloon! You got a balloon? Look, it's a little baby turns it off. I can make it. I can make it. That's my thing. Heads, so I can make it. What? I can make it. So you've got. You've got a spoon to put chocolate on it. Chocolate sauce. You've got sprinkles and biscuit sprinkles too. And to put on your donuts. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Some mouse must have bit it. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Why did they not grab it? <laughs> I only wanted to make sure I wasn't poisoned. Oh, so you did do it! I was just making sure my little girl was safe. <laughs> I think the barista really liked me because I got a smiley face in my latte. I think it was completely coincidental. And Sarah didn't. No, you couldn't even. I mean, come on. That's a that's a proper face. No, that was coincidental. That's a proper face. Looks like you. He didn't like you. Sorry, babe. Fail. Krispy Kreme fail. Well, <laughs> your donut. No, fool. No, no. You said you didn't want one, so put the donut down. Oh. It'll go straight to your hips. No. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you just saw, I went for my usual bad boy, my strawberries and cream. I'm missing a little bite out of it now. I got, was just making it safe. We've got two decaf lattes. Very much looking forward to this. It looks so nice, especially with my little face. And I thought, I don't want to destroy it now. It looks too cute. I will. No! home and settling down to bed. It's 9 p.m. on a Saturday night because that's how we roll. <laughs> we are certainly not hardcore and 
we are just going to settle down with some Netflix and fall asleep. Chris is up again tomorrow at 4am, so he's barely going to get any sleep tonight. Hello, my pretty. Come up here. Come up here and say hello. Hello, my fur baby. Guess whose birthday it is on Monday? <laughs> Don't lick my face. Prinny is going to be one on Monday. Sit down. Sit down. Good girl. Oh, there you go, my darling. Look at you. Look how beautiful you are. You are the most beautiful doggy in the world to me. And I love you so much. Oh, you're getting shy. <laughs> yeah, Prinny is going to be one years old on Monday. We need to go and buy some treats for her tomorrow. That's that. That is actually the plan tomorrow. Go buy Prinny some birthday presents. Tomorrow I am going out with my dad. We're going to meet him in the afternoon. Chris finishes work at, I think, about 10am. So he'll be home hopefully by half 10 and we're going to meet my dad, we're going to meet some of my two nieces, which I'm so, I can't even tell you how excited, I've not seen them for a long time. So we're going to do that, and then we're going shopping, because as you just heard, it's Prinny's birthday on Monday, and we need to go and get her some presents, and I'm not sure what we're doing in the afternoon, Isabel's home tomorrow, which I'm so excited about, and yeah, so tomorrow is going to be a fun day. I've just come in to say the night to the girls and they are watching our Disneyland Paris vlogs. It makes me want to go back there so bad. Yeah. I can't wait to go back there, Esme. Yeah. Give me a kiss, please, madam. It is sleep time for my little skegs. Mwah. I love you so much. Have a wonderful sleep. Amy's got a new blanket. She looks so sweet, Esme. My blanket. And I'll see you in the morning, okay? Okay. No night, darling. No night. Right, give me a kiss, Munchkin. Mwah. I love you. I Sleep you. tight, darling. Okay. Night night, my darling. Night night, night, night sweetheart. Mwah. Just before I end today's vlog, I want to give a big shout out to Evie Palfreyman. We met your auntie this evening and it was so lovely meeting her. We did a video on your auntie's phone for three people this evening, so I hope you enjoy that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching our channel, and it was so lovely meeting your auntie this evening. But for today, that is all we've got for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know you will have done. You guys are the best ever. And I've just remembered, we need to pick a winner from our vlog from tonight. No, we're not doing it tonight. We're not picking a winner because it went up at six, which is only three hours ago. That's not really given many people a chance to enter. So we will draw the winner from that competition tomorrow and that's to win, was it a wristband did Chris say? Yes, a wristband, one of our, I love them wristbands so much. I think they're awesome. So we will draw the winner for the competition tomorrow and that's it, yeah. Hope you've all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you know what to do by now. Give it a big thumbs up. I'd just like to welcome all of our new subscribers because today we hit 350,000 subscribers so so exciting big welcome to all of our new subscribers we only have 150 to go before we reach half a million that number is mind-blowing when we started our youtube channel my ultimate goal was to reach 100,000, and to think that we might actually reach half a million is mind-blowing seriously mind-blowing so exciting so yeah big welcome to all of our new subscribers give this video a video can't even talk give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we'll see all you guys back again at 6 p.m tomorrow good night ifam bye mm.